Mayor de Blasio moves one step closer to fulfilling a campaign pledge to get rid of horse-drawn carriages on the streets of New York. Many carriage drivers say the city is robbing them of their livelihood. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez has the story. Stephen Malone, a father of three, has been a handsome cabbie for 27 years. He says he's stunned to hear Mayor de Blasio crafted legislation that would eliminate horse and carriage rides by 2016. For 300 men and women to wake up to put their kids on the school bus to go to school to find out that they may not have a job, it, it's disgusting. The bill, expected to be introduced before the city council next week, has several measures to phase out horse-drawn carriages, including not renewing licenses to operate carriage horses. The licenses are set to expire in May of 2016. Proponents of the bill say it's a step towards a safer city. It's time to end the inhumane, unsafe carriage horse industry in New York, change the way we do tourism in New York City, and find new jobs for the carriage drivers. Under de Blasio's bill, the city would offer handsome cabbies green taxi medallions. I have no interest in driving a green cab, a yellow cab, any color cab. Um, you know, New York City would not be New York City without these horses. Councilmember Daniel Drum, lead sponsor of the bill, says there have been too many crashes and too many horse deaths and injuries to justify the continuation of this industry. Some advocates have recommended a fleet of electric cars like this one, but union leaders for the drivers say... The electric cars, we've said many times we're not interested in that idea. It's not a proven idea. It's too soon to tell if the bill will have the 26 city council votes it needs to pass. A vote is not expected until early next year. In Central Park, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. And also the city has to conduct environmental studies before the council can debate the bill.